So look, to see how we got to this point right here, I am gonna have to turn that clock back for about an hour and a half. As with any new pit, the first step is going to be you got to get it unboxed. And right off the bat, I can tell you this is definitely a one man job or one woman job. So once you got that unit unboxed, the first thing you are going to notice is that all the goodies are packed inside the cabinet itself. As we remove all those goodies, you will notice right off the bat that this is a high low burner. In other words, you've got a burner coming from the top and also a burner coming from the bottom. So this unit here is gonna come with a bottom rack. That is gonna catch all your grease and then you are gonna have an upper rack which is gonna be perfect for keeping dishes warm. Besides your five regular skewers, you are also going to get a triple prong skewer. How about a fish basket skewer? You'll also get one flat basket skewer and also a round basket skewer. That is going to cover all your fish, veggies, and meat. So once you've made that proper hookup in the back with the propane, you've also got some electric into the unit itself. It is time to take a look at the front panel. On that front panel, you are going to get time and temperature, your rotisserie, on off button and also independent high low burners the first time you are gonna fire up this unit you want to hold those buttons in an extra three four seconds to clear any air from the gas line we close out of this show there are a few points that I do want to mention it did do a uh, good job on the sausage that I cooked also the chicken that I cooked the only little bit of negative on this whole experience is the weight of the chicken did bend the skewer. You've got that digital timer and also that curved tempered glass. That is going to be safe and easy to clean. That warming rack up top and also that grease catcher on the bottom. You are going to get multiple skewers. And also, did I mention, this is going to come with a battery. So when you plug in that juice, there is going to be an internal battery that should easily last you about four or five plus hours, which makes this unit totally portable. Cleaning up the unit is definitely on the uh, simple side, and that is it. That is going to close out this show. I will have a, uh, a cook or two coming from start to finish with this. Leave me a comment down below if there is anything you want to see. This is a pretty cool unit, and I am definitely intrigued and uh, looking forward to using it. My name is Tommy. I appreciate you all for watching, and until next time, we will see you soon.